the Medusa. Medusa is a synthesizer and performance device created by the combination of two companies, Polyend and Dreadbox. Polyend and Dreadbox have come together in a very unique situation and created this entire synthesizer, bringing their various strengths together to do it. The Medusa is a powerful synthesizer. It has three different analog oscillators, three different digital oscillators. It has three different filters. Uh, well, it has one filter that has three different settings. That's a, tw a resonant 24 decibel per octave filter, a resonant 12, 12 decibel per octave filter, and a resonant high pass filter. It has five envelopes. It has five LFOs, and these there are incredible uh, routing capabilities with these various envelopes and LFOs. It has a mixer that allows you to control all of the individual six oscillators. It's got functions like two different sync. Uh, it has variable color noise. The digital oscillators have wavetables that can be adjusted. Uh, you have frequency modulation going to the filter or other oscillators. Uh, and on top of that, it's also uh, a monophonic synthesizer, but also a polyphonic synthesizer. There are two different varieties of polyphony that you can employ, including uh, three-note polyphony, where for each note, you get two oscillators, or six-note polyphony, where each of the oscillators is its own note in polyphony, which allows you to do some really fun uh, things that I typically absolutely love where you can set all the oscillators to different settings. So when you play them as a chord, you've got a chorus of different instruments as opposed to just one timbre spread out over six notes. Okay, it also has this incredible grid over here, which uh, has a number of functions, including operating as a sequencer, including operating as a keyboard, and including uh, including operating as a means to set different parameters for each of the buttons, allowing uh, incredible means of like live control with your hands or control over the different steps of a sequence. So it is really a powerful combination of functionality and uh, we should dig into it right now. Okay, first let's start with the oscillators. I have oscillator one, which is an analog oscillator turned up right now. Now, uh, I could be controlling this with a MIDI keyboard, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna make use of the keyboard functionality of the grid, which I think is a lot of fun. And as a person who's typically used to a traditional keyboard, it's really fun for me to be able to play this grid as if it is a keyboard. And we will get into explaining how that works and why various squares are lit. But right now we're gonna focus on the oscillators. So you'll be seeing me playing this. Okay. We have the sawtooth of oscillator one. That's what we're listening to. If we want to hear the range of this sawtooth wave and basically the octave range of the oscillator in general, we have this as the lowest note at the negative one setting. Of course, if you want to, you can use the coarse tune to tune down an octave. And uh, you can do that on the other end too. Uh, but so at this setting, we have a range that's like this. There is a cap on the oscillator frequency that happens at various settings. So that's what you're hearing up here. But this is the sound of your sawtooth. A nice analog sawtooth. Of course, we can raise the octave one. There's that topping off. Uh, and we could raise it one more time. Of course, then the topping off starts right about here. That is the octave range of an analog oscillator, and that's what the sawtooth waveform sounds like as we go through it. We'll just uh, move through these other 
waveforms. Here is the square wave. Traditional nice sounding square wave. Here is the triangle wave. And we also have a sine wave, which if you know me is exciting to me because I love doing additive stuff. So we have a sine wave we can work with. You'll notice right now that I am doing this all in the play mode, which is M, which is monophonic. So that's because we're just listening to a single oscillator doing these waveforms. And as we touched on, you do have a coarse tuning knob that you can tune uh, your oscillator to. And I don't know if you've noticed this, when I played with the coarse tuning knob, uh, a screen comes up over here on this OLED that tells you what you're tuning to. So you know what you've tuned to. If you don't want to use your ear, you have some graphic evidence of what your tuning is. And of course, let's keep in mind that we do have three oscillators, so let's hear them together. You can hear the chorusing of them being slightly out of phase there which is a uh, traditional analog behavior. Let's add the third one in. That is a really full three oscillator sound.